Hey friends, this is Renee from Little Village Homestead, and today I'm going to show you a very easy, quick meal to make, goulash. And I am going to use a jar of my home canned stewed tomatoes. So, we'll be right back! <music> Okay friends, I am back and right here I've got oh probably a little more than a pound and a half of burger. I'm gonna throw that right in there, right in my Dutch oven. This, my friends, is about the easiest, quickest meal you can make. And uh, I got home late and we're hungry and I just want this to go fast. So I'm just gonna break that up a little bit. Now with this, I don't really need to spice it up too much. You know, I can add a little extra pepper and salt in there, but my stewed tomatoes that I've got, I've got peppers, I've got celery, I've got onions and garlic and some seasoning in there. I've got everything in there, so it makes just a really quick meal. I love it. So with that, I've got my water back here. I need to put a little bit of oil in there. I got that turned on. And I got my burger in here and ready to go. We'll grind up a little more pepper in here because that's one thing I don't have in my stewed tomatoes is pepper. And I like lots of pepper. So we'll give, set that there, we'll give this a good grind. Now I'm going to hold off on the salt because I'll do salt to taste it when it's done. Think that's enough pepper? Never. There's some more. All right, so with that, I'm just going to get this browned, cooked up, and then I'm going to put my tomatoes in it. But I'm not going to sit here and have the film going and so you can just watch this meat brown. Because everybody knows how to brown meat, I hope. So when this is all browned up, I'll be back. Okay, friends, I'm going to turn this burner off because my burger is all done. I don't know if you can see it real well because of the steam. But there is hardly any grease in this burger whatsoever. This is fresh from my local butcher. And this is the best burger I have ever had. And I mean ever had. You know, you don't have to drain it. It's, it's wonderful. You can even make this, when I, like when I make my tater tot casserole, I just pack this burger raw in the bottom of the pan and then put everything else in with it. And it turns out fantastic. Not greasy. There's, there's no oil in here. Look at how beautiful that is it's it's just it's gorgeous okay so I've got the burger done I'm gonna put the lid on that actually actually I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put our tomatoes in there oh here they are I'm gonna pour those right in there mix them up because I might want to add a little more garlic you know, you just never know, and I think I'm going to need another jar of tomatoes. I am. I most certainly am. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got my other jar of tomatoes. And you know what that means when I have to use two jars of tomatoes? That means lots of leftovers. And it is going to be the weekend. Tomorrow's Friday, so we'll have this throughout the weekend to snack on, and it will be good. All right, I'm going to turn that on low. And let that reduce just a little bit. Uh, actually, not low. I'm going to turn it about medium to low. Once that heats through and simmers up a little bit, I'll give that a taste and make sure it doesn't need any more seasoning. So, our noodles are, or not our noodles, but our water's getting ready to boil for the noodles there goes the lid on this when the noodles are done and this is ready to be seasoned I'll be back hey friends I am back and we'll take the lid off that that's all set oh man that baby's hot 
All right, now I got my noodles all drained, so I'm going to mix them right in here. I'm going to leave none behind. Now, I was going to tell you, if you don't have home, you know, canned stewed tomatoes, by all means, you, you know, regular tomatoes. And uh, you just have to season them. And I know some of them you can buy that are already seasoned, like a roasted garlic and basil and all that, or oregano. They're wonderful. And uh, I've purchased them before, too, especially when they go on sale. But you can use them and just season it up. Put Italian, I put Italian seasoning in them and oregano and uh, salt and pepper and extra garlic and by gosh this looks good okay so two cans of stewed tomatoes about a pound and a half of burger and I think that's about a four cups of uncooked noodles that I used and look voila you got a beautiful meal ready to eat and how long did that take I bet you that wasn't even 30 minutes so there you are, a quick and easy meal with some pantry stock, and thank you for watching. I'm going to go have dinner.